What's up, guys? So, today I wanted to do a hair tutorial for you guys. I haven't done one of these in a while, and this would be a good chance because I don't have any perm left in my hair. And this is actually my natural hair texture. As you guys can see, I used to ha sport like this bowl cut way back in the day. If you are an OG, let me know if you remember me with this bowl cut. Um, but these days I've just been styling my hair um, in kind of that wavy kind of parted hairstyle that I usually sport, but I've been um, styling it with some tools and I thought this would be a really good chance to show you guys how to achieve sort of like that Korean perm look without having to get a perm. All right, so first step is just making sure that your hair is parted in the right direction. So it's obviously down like this. And I like to just get a like a comb like this and part it in the direction that you want it to be. So I like to kind of part it in the middle like this. So I'm just going to do it like so. And then it's really important to prep your hair before styling it. So I like to go in with like a hair serum. Um, this one's from L'Oreal Paris Extraordinary Oil. I like to use this and I really like this oil, but what's annoying about it is that I do find that hair serums in general can break you out. So you have to make sure to wash your hair after applying this, at least if you are super acne prone like I am. And just distribute this and it really does make your hair super silky and helps prepare it for the styling that you're about to do. All right, so once you're, you've done prepping your hair and just parting it, you need to get your tool ready. And this is probably the main point of this tutorial. Most people I find that kind of style their hair, if they're a guy, typically uses a hair straightener. But I find that using a hair curler at the right width gets you that effect in a much more natural way and it's actually easier to um, get that look. So this one is a three quarter inch barrel, um, which is really great for hair length like mine, which is about, how much would this be? Like if your bangs are about like three to four inches, I think a three quarter inch is a good barrel length. Another thing to keep in mind with a hair curler is that the larger you go, the more natural the effect will be. So if you use like a really skinny one, it's gonna give you really tight ringlets. So I feel like the three quarter inch is a really good um, kind of width for most people with hair length similar to mine. I've actually been really digging sporting my natural hair texture these days. I don't know, it's just been so long that I kind of forgot that I actually have straight hair. Now we're gonna go in with the styling of it. Make sure it's heated up. I like to heat it up to about 15. And the way you grip a hair curler, for me, what I find is really easy, is to make like a shape like this with your hand and hold it like this and use your finger here to manage it and support it with your thumb, like so. What I like to do is I like to go from the back to the front so we just take a section of it like this and then we don't take it to the root but hold it down and then just go like that and then you'll have a curl. So once again, I'm going to take a section of hair like so and then we take the barrel and don't go to the root but just kind of go midway, hold it down and then curl it like this and then go like so. So I'm just gonna go in and do this midsection. Another thing is that if you want a stronger curl, hold it down a little bit longer and then just let it go like so. And now we're gonna do probably the most important part, which is a bang. So I'm gonna take some time to show you guys how I do it. So make sure you split your hair up like so. And you wanna be really specific with the bang that your bangs. So I'm just gonna take this section right here, separate it like so, hold it down and 
push it up and then hold the end for about a second and then let it go. See how it does that? Then you brush it out. And you kind of just want a wispy curl. And now we have to do the other side. And once again, start from the end and then come up to the front. Cool, so basically after you go in with like the curling iron, you're gonna have sort of the texture and the volume that you want. And then you basically go in with like a curling essence of some kind. I like this Korean one from Amos, uh, the Curling Essence Bouncy Wave. I've been using this one a lot. But one that I also recommend if you don't have access to Korean brands is uh, the Curl Defining Cream, um, the Moroccan oil one. This one's also really, really good. And what you do, it's really simple at this point, is you take about, I don't know, like a dime size amount. And you just distribute it in your hair, like so. Try not to wreck the texture, but just sort of like run it through. And push down on the areas that you feel like are kind of too voluminous and just run it through. And there you have it. You achieve sort of like a Korean perm hairstyle without doing a perm. This is how I've been styling my hair these past few days because I haven't gone around to getting a perm. Um, but I feel like the effect isn't bad actually. Most people, I don't think would be able to tell the difference. Can you guys tell the difference? If so, let me know down in the comment section below. But it's just like a really easy way to style your hair as long as your hair is sort of the right length and if you have the right tools. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I will catch you guys in my next video.